Phytoplankton are the foundation of the aquatic food web. Their primary producers feeding everything from microscopic animals like zooplankton to multi-tongued whales. Small fish and invertebrates also graze on these plant-like organisms, and then those smaller animals are eaten by bigger ones. Phytoplankton are responsible for 70% of the oxygen in our atmosphere. Phytoplankton need cold places to migrate in order to survive. If phytoplankton don't have these places, then they will die and then animals won't be able to eat phytoplankton and they will also suffer. Phytoplankton are dying is a reality all due to climate change. Climate change is a change in global or regional climate patterns, in particular a change apparent from the mid to late 20th century onwards and attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by these of fossil fuels. Because of this, the oceans are warming, so the phytoplankton end up having no more to grow. In the past 70 years, this has been happening as the phytoplankton population has dropped 40% since 1950. The number is continuing to drop as climate change is not slowing down. And there's nothing we can do! Ah! What the? What? There's actually so much we can do. Our world was filled with new technologies, and a lot of them are better to our ecosystem and reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that is released into our atmosphere. For example, electric cars don't burn any fossil fuels when used. There's also the problem of plastic bottles, so it's time to switch to reusable bottles, which are much better for our environment. But if you do choose to continue to use plastic bottles, remember to recycle. The making of plastic bottles is a huge industry that releases a lot of carbon dioxide into our atmosphere. It is time for that to change. We now understand that phytoplankton are extremely vital, so it's time to do something about it. But the only way to do it 